what I've done is I've reshuffled the deck. And of course, as technology stocks did so well in 19, you know, most technology stocks last year up 40 to 50 percent. If you are somebody like me that actually looks at valuations, I had to dip last year, particularly towards the end of the year, to the JV team. Yeah. You know, companies that uh, were not as nice as I wanted to, but they were relatively attractive valuations. Well, then you get into 2020 and you have the coronavirus and you have the big uh, draft downwards in stocks. And so what I've done is I've gotten out of the JV teams. Now I can uh, go into the varsity names because these are ones that are actually quality companies that now for the first time hmm. and sometimes not just months but years are reasonably valued. So I've done that. And then with surplus cash, I'm actually still building a pretty big cash position because I'm not one of the believers that this is going to be a snapback that's actually going to sustain itself. Oh, interesting. So you want cash to be able to buy maybe even cheaper, those varsity names, even cheaper valuations. Who are those names that, that right. you're uh, snapping up here? Now, one of the things that I'm interested in is there are a couple of companies that uh, were showing a lot of momentum pre-coronavirus, and it's going to be obvious to all in the post-coronavirus world that they are strong getting stronger. Netflix, Amazon. Recently, I beefed up my holdings in Activision as a gaming play, Akamai as an Internet speed and performance and security play, and some other names, because I want to make sure that they're the best names and also they fit the themes, because the themes are going to be different on the other side of this. Make sure that they are fitting the themes for remote workplace and some of the other major themes in technology. So you think remote workplace becomes a, a big theme coming out of this? I kind of wanted to ask you about that. I mean, a lot of people have piled on to the stay-at-home bandwagon trade. So I'm a little yeah. surprised to hear you in that as well. Is that because you think this is going to be a permanent shift or just because they got so cheap that you could comfortably buy them? Well, it's interesting. I've uh, separated my portfolio into some core names that I discussed. And I do have some trading names, such as Zoom, which is a stock that I will exit as fast as I entered, <laughs> because maybe over time it is a permanent beneficiary of the uh, live at home, work at home theme. But as of now, you know, it's still on the come. So I have some on the fringes. You know, I'm playing with the coronavirus successfully, some of those plays, but they're definitely not core names. And they will go, as I said before, as fast as they came in when the time is right. So Zoom's at 150. What's your uh, what's your se selling price? I think if Zoom gets back to uh, the mid-160s, which was its high of just a couple of weeks ago, I think I just, as I held my nose and bought it, I probably have to hold my nose. And even if it up, might be up 5 6 7% as it is today on that particular day, I just have to sell it <laughs> uh, in good conscience until they show that they can actually monetize this huge uh, influx of subscribers. I'm not a believer long term. Paul, I have to squeeze this in. Everybody's loved MasterCard and Visa. Many people have picked them up on the sell-off. Why did you sell them? You know, MasterCard and Visa do dominate the backbone of payment processing. But the problem is, in the post-coronavirus world, we're going to be going to bars, restaurants, doing face-to-face uh, -face transactions um, a lot less. And so I think in that space, you want to be in different names uh, in payment processing versus MasterCard and Visa, which actually got very expensive because they did so well mm -hmm. for so many years leading to the coronavirus. I just think they're bigger fish to fry than those two. Would you give us the name of who you think you should be in in the payment processing space? I think as we uh, morph over time, I don't do it uh, right now because I still think they could go lower. But PayPal and Square are probably more interesting to me than MasterCard and Visa. All right. Paul, always answer the questions candidly. We really appreciate it. That's my thing. Great to see, see you. Later.